Hello there, it's Paul Jones again here, Exhibition Manager of Wally MRC. I know we're in the early part of the year, April in fact, but already plans are well afoot for the 2018 Wally National Model Railway Exhibition to be held on the weekend of the 24th and 25th of November at the NEC Birmingham. At this stage, all our invitations for layouts, other exhibitors, preservation societies, demonstrators and trade exhibitors are all out and about 95% have been received. So we're well on the way for this year's exhibition. Please reserve the date in your diary if not, if you haven't done so already and uh, we'll see you in November. Hello, I'm John Seward, member of the O-Gage Group of Wally Model Railway Club. I'm also the Assistant Exhibition Manager. And just to dispel a few myths, um, Wally do put on a bloody good exhibition, but we do build layouts as well. We have a reputation for not doing so, but if uh, you look around the club room, we make quite a few. This particular one is our latest O-Gage project. project. It's based on the old Cyril Freezer um, drawing that was in his 60 layouts for small 60 small layouts book um, and it is based on minerals although it isn't exactly like minerals and it is as you will see on a curve um, where minerals was straight construction is fairly simple we have used baseboards pre-cut from Grange and Hodder um, which go together very simply very easily uh, despite their very thin and light construction uh, they are remarkably rigid because we do put uh, braces uh, in the uh, in the webbing that goes underneath the top is laid with a rubber acrylic rubber um, surface which when we finish laying the track will be cut away to give us a nice shoulder for the uh, ballast. The track is Pico, um, as you can see there are points and double slips which are also Pico. Um, please don't take any notice of this, this is just what we use for te track testing. It's an old uh, Lima one, it's rubbish but it doesn't like fine scale tracks so it finds all your faults. <laughs> uh, the bottom we have a fiddle yard which is on a sliding system onto which trains will pull up. We then have also a, oh, it's got the transit lock on it, sorry. We also then have a turntable so we never need to touch the locomotives once they're on the track. So locomotive, train comes in, locomotive is uncoupled onto the turntable, it's then, that is transit voltage, it then turns around, goes back down onto the loco release road and is stored there behind the scenery until it's required. We also store other locomotives on these tracks at the back. Um, Construction so far has taken us about 12 months thereabouts and we're now at the stage where we're almost complete with the, um, with the track work. That will be complete in the next couple of weeks hopefully, or the next couple of sessions that we have at the club, whichever is the earlier. <clears throat> and um, we then will carry on to do all the electrics on the layout before we allow anybody to put anything like ballast on there. So we, we prove the fact that the layout will run um, before we actually put any ballast on. I think perhaps you ought now to talk to my colleague John Parry who um, designed this layout from the Minerva plan and uh, uh, is our uh, Mentor in chief. Thanks. Thank you for the introduction, John. I'm sure it's entirely justified. We had a 
group meeting and we talked about what we wanted for a new layout to replace our old exhibition layout which was uh, beginning to feel its age. It's also rather heavy and uh, we're all getting on in years. We decided on a fairly lightweight design and we threw around a few ideas, eventually came up with one, as John said, based rather loosely on Cyril Freezer's Minories plan. Basically it's a, a fiddle yard to a terminus layout. The terminus has three platforms. There is a separate goods loop, a couple of good sidings, and to disguise the fiddle yard there will be probably a dairy. We decided on a dairy because the raw material can arrive in tank wagons and the finished products go out in vans which look the same whether they're full or empty. Hopefully we'll be able to run quite an intensive representative service. The name we decided on the layout is Oldbury Pearsall Street. The club room is in Pearsall Drive in Oldbury and we thought Pearsall Street implies that there is another layout in the area and we thought as we've only got a small terminus this is what it could represent. It's going to be either LMS based with Great Western Railway running powers or the other way around. Thank you. Hi, you may know me from previous Warley MRC videos. My name is Paul Jones, I'm currently Exhibition Manager of the Warley National Model Railway Exhibition at the NEC each November. I'd like to thank David Watson for featuring us on his YouTube channel, Dean Park Station, and for helping to make people aware of what we're doing for our exhibition this year. Thank you very much, David. If you haven't already subscribed to David's channel, I suggest you do so because he has posted a lot of informative and interesting videos in recent times concerning his project, including DCC, computer control, laying his track work, etc. Well worth a visit. Thank you very much.